Welcome to another episode of Northwest Spotlight. Today we're at Iron Ohm in historic Chinatown and we're going to have a chat with owner Douglas Chang. Let's go! Hey Doug! Good to see you! Uh, so for those uh, who don't know what Iron Ohm is, can you tell us a little bit about a shop, like the products that you carry, services that you offer, and things like that? Yeah, so we, we carry a, a broad range of, of knives. Uh, right now, the majority of them are from, from Japan. Uh, however, we, we are starting to explore um, uh, knives from different places. So right now we do have an American blacksmith, for example. We, have, uh, we had the local blacksmith. Um, and we also carry other products such as uh, uh, plates and, and cups and, and ceramics and, and such and also some cookware so forge pans um, you know, uh, barbecue grills and stuff uh, for services um, what we offer are, are sharpening and we also do knife sharpening workshops so what does I know mean so I know means uh, basically it, it means love and care, like the simple. Yeah. But I is love in both uh, Chinese and in Japanese, pronounced the same. And then Om is for Omoyari, which means uh, consideration. So to consider, you know, customers' needs, to consider, you know, not just customers but yourself too. To always do things with some kind of thought and deliberate action i guess oh, that's say. beautiful yeah so what made you decide to transition from being a chef to being a knife purveyor it actually happened serendipitously um when i first came to vancouver there was no real resource for cooks uh, either for learning how to sharpen or uh, for them to to see or to handle um, high quality cooking instruments uh, so can you show us some examples of knives that you'll recommend to a professional chef versus a home cook sure I have a few here oh great uh, first I'll show you my my personal role mm -hmm. so this is a chef's chef's knife um, this knife I would recommend it could do double duty as both you know home or um, for for professional kitchen when people are in uh, a busy kitchen I recommend um, something such as this so you know, a, a stainless knife, a knife that, you know, you don't have to worry about rust or corrosion or reaction or anything like that. Um, generally, that's the distinction between home and, and uh, professional. Um, for home, or if you're a professional that is very meticulous, um, carbon blades are great. Um, this is a carbon blade. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, it, it, it's a nice one too. Um, you know, the, the, the carbon can react with certain foods. Uh, for example, citrus, very acidic foods like tomatoes. Um, so you do have to be diligent about keeping it clean and dry. Uh, and that's why if you're in a professional setting, sometimes it's better to have something that's less, you have to worry less about uh, versus at home where, you know, the only danger is if you have a couple of bottles of wine and forget about the knife, that's, <laughs> that's the only danger really. Speaking from experience? No, not at all. 